Guys, can somebody explain to me why the fuck the only men I'm interested in are the ones who are cold, distant, they just give me like a little bit. Not near enough. And I want them. And I want them. But then there's so many men that would love to take me out or would love to get to know me. And they show me that. And I just have no interest. Like, why? What is wrong? What is wrong with me? Why am I the way I am? You're suffering from the same thing most women in this country suffer with. You want a top tier, top percenter, and those guys have uh, pretty much their cream of the crop to pick from thanks to hypergamy, feminism, women feeling like they don't need a man because they make their own money. So because they make their own money, now they feel entitled to the same guys that aren't really giving you or should I say reciprocating the energy back that you are giving them so now you're stuck with a whole bunch of guys who you think are options but in reality they're really not options because you don't want them but we'll be discussing that a little bit more here in a sec what's going on YouTube is your boy Ron back with another video if you're new to the platform welcome to the tribe by the end of this video I hope you subscribe now, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump into the next video. I just watched a video of this girl that was saying how the man that she was with should have been honored to be with a girl like her because she was so beautiful. She was so pretty. And he don't really have the privilege of attracting so many pretty women. So he should have felt happy that she wants him because he's the only person that she wants. But he is not the only person that wants her, meaning she's wanted by a lot of men, but she only wants him. This is not a flex like you might think it is. When you are wanted by a lot of people, but you don't want them back, do you really have options? Can you really leave the one person that you want for all the people who want you just because you're beautiful? Yeah, you can go entertain them, but they're not him. Yeah, you can go on dates. You can have your shit provided for. You can have all that you really want out of the different situations, but they are not who you really want. So do you really have options as beautiful as you are as top tier as you say you are can you really walk away from the one person that you want more than anything simply because you know that you are wanted by so many other people you can't you see what i'm saying you see why that's such a toxic way of thinking because while you think you have options you really don't have no options because options mean that it's an equal desire you want them and they want you and this could work but if it's not that you really don't have no options except the one person who you want, who doesn't want you, and who isn't doing right by you. And now it's something in you that's committed to winning this person over, making this person desire you like the rest of the people desire you, because there's something in you that feels entitled to the person's desire. And maybe that's exactly why you want them in the first place, because how dare they not desire you like all these other men in the world? You might not even want this man for real. You might just want him to want you. <laughs> mm. Man, listen, I'm going to keep it a buck. That last part hit because I really think it's some truth to that. I think it's some women out there that play games and they act like that because in reality, they feel entitled to every man to man's attention and they think every man wants them. And then when a man doesn't want them, there's either you're either going to get a couple of reactions. They're going to look at you like you're an asshole or they're, they're actually going to be turned on by it and find you attractive because you're not sweating them like all the other dudes that simp for them. But I do think that's one of the reasons why they do that, because they're so used to getting that attention that when they don't get it from a man, it, it doesn't even have to be a man that they're not even attracted to or into like that. But when the guy is like not 
giving off the oh oh my god you're beautiful or you feel me when you act like a when you're a man that acts like you've been around beautiful women before trust me man it, it, it makes you 10 times more attractive around attractive women let's keep it moving i'm done i'm 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 finally done what what what, what are you done with with our time apart i know it's been really difficult it's been difficult on both of us but i'm finally ready for us to be together and i'll never have to wonder about anything else i'm seeing someone <laughs> That is, congratulations. Um, so then, so Josh, you wanna just like tell me when you're done then? I don't know, Alice. Well, like we can, we'll just wait till you're done. Shit's different. I'm not, I'm not sure I want the same things anymore. <laughs> you mean like me? I didn't need an experiment to know that I loved you. And I'm not an idiot. You're, you're, I guess, done with whatever you've been doing with whoever you've been doing and you can come running back to me. No thanks. I'll pass. Perfect. A lot of guys will come and ask me, oh, how do you know if a girl not feeling you? Easy. Let's think about it. Women are very emotional creatures. We be on body. Mm -hmm. Okay? When we like somebody, we're on body. If she's not on your body, we're thanks. Somebody yeah, else's body. She was a yeah. You're the backup nine guy. Nine times. times out of ten, you the good dude, and he's the mm -hmm. dude. But you just fill in the void to where Marquavius don't. Exactly. He's so you hear when Marquavius acting up? Well, you acting <laughs> up. She need a little reassurance. She yeah, want a little love. She want to feel the little pieces of Marquavius. Like, cause he's like, you so beautiful, Marquavius. Don't tell her that. Uh, he just he, he just lay it down like. Bust the boonies yeah, down and just, then go back home. Mm -hmm. To the, the, to the real home. Mm -hmm. oh, that's insane. Women don't friend zone men that they like. They friend zone men that they're using. Let me repeat that again. Women do not friend zone men that they like. They friend zone men that they are using. And they are using these men for attention. That's the number one thing. How do you actually know that you're being friend zoned? I'm going to tell you the top four ways that you know that you're in the friend zone. The first sign in knowing whether or not you've been friend zoned is if she treats you like a pen pal. And what I mean by this is that she texts you constantly for advice and makes the conversation about herself and lets you give her advice, but she never actively wants to hang out. You're definitely friend zoned if she tells you something along the lines of making a pact that if you're not married by a certain age, then you'll marry each other. Yeah, you're friend zoned like a mofo. The third one is if she tells you all these great compliments about you and always hypes you up, but she's always trying to hook you up with somebody else, it's because you're friend zoned. So what that looks like is, oh, you're such a great guy, and then she lists all the things that are so great about you, but you're such a great guy for her friend Lindsay. Number four seems pretty obvious, but if she gets mad at you for dating other people, but then if you break up with that person for her, she still won't date you. And all I'm going to say is that y'all know that I don't believe in the friend zone, but if you guys are going to try to keep yourselves there, just remember that this is because you lack boundaries, you lack self-respect, and you need to find it and get yourself out of these weird situations. Be intentional with your dating. Be upfront about what you want. Stop playing these games because if you don't play the games, then you can't end up in the friend zone. Okay, bye. And I agree with her with that. And also, don't let women shame you into staying in the friend zone because they will do that too. Trust me. Let's keep it moving. Let me just respond to this on behalf of all the 40 plus year old single women who are single by choice, not because they can't find a man. We are not leftovers. We have made a beautiful life for ourselves. A lot of us are very independent, successful, able to completely financially sustain not only ourselves, but our beautiful families. The pool of men who are secure enough in their own identity that they are not threatened by women like that, is about this big. So when we are single, it's because we have been dealing with men who are so insecure that they are threatened and they, they try to knock us down to make themselves feel better. And we don't have time for that. We have such a beautiful life full of incredible, incredible things that we have worked our ass off to enjoy. In other words, you're a functioning adult in society. Congratulations. She's saying that there's such a small amount of men that are actually into her and the way she frames it to cope with it is that, oh, the men who aren't into her are insecure and threatened. 
So therefore, she isn't really single by choice, is she? She's single because there's such a small amount of men who are into her, and she thinks it's because they're threatened or intimidated, what have you. No, oh, no, I, I agree to some. I agree to some degree. I think the reality is, is that that small pool that she's referring to, I don't even think she's into those guys, let alone the guys that she claimed that are quote unquote intimidated by her, which I think is some of the dumbest shit women have came up with to make themselves feel um, superior to men. And it's funny too, because you would think for women who sit over here and complain about not being able to be in their feminine you would think the last thing that were that would come out of their mouth is men being intimidated by them just because they're financially stable that's what the fuck you're supposed to do as an adult get over yourself let's keep it moving this woman left a comment in response to a dude talking about how his wife began mistreating him. And then she makes the comment along the lines of choose better, the choice was on him. But you see, choose better works differently for males and females. Most of the time, the woman is on her best behavior before marriage, making herself look good, making herself sound good, being ultra, ultra frisky in the bedroom. Everything's perfect. She's sending the man signals that he is God's gift. That's how a lot of women get guys. You just perform early on. And then you know once you marry him and have him in lockdown, that she can then let it rip. Because now she has the marriage insurance. But in regard to women choosing men, very often, most of the time, what you see is what you get. Facts. Men show it all right in the beginning. And very often, women will ignore what they see, hoping that once you get him, that things can change. This is a common theme in relationships, that the woman will say she wants him to change his behavior to make the marriage better. And the man will generally say, he wants the woman to go back to who she was when he first met her. Facts. See, that makes choose better very different for males and females. It's only unless a man is knowingly moving forward with a 304 or a woman with some other type of red flags. Yeah, we can use that, that he knowingly chose a 304. But in regard to all the other stuff, Men generally do not see these things until after they're married. Because once a woman has that insurance policy, the marriage certificate, that's when she can start acting up. That's when she can start not doing the things that she did before she got married. And this is a common thing that we hear from tens of thousands of men, that she changed after marriage. She's not the woman that she used to be because that woman was to get him to commit. We all know that men are not rushing to the altar and mass. There might be a few, but as a general rule, women generally have to get men to the altar somehow, some way. And that way is show him the best, laugh, let him be himself, be extra frisky in the bedroom, smile all the time, be pleasant. Women know these things. We know how to put on the act for a certain amount of time, but they just want to get that piece of paper in their hands so they can drop the act. So I don't blame men at all. When I hear them say she changed, more than likely she did change. Now, when I hear women say, I want him to change, more than likely, he was that way when she met him. Facts. But now she wants him to change. Most women change in some way after marriage. Most. But most men were the exact same person when she married him. But her intention the whole time was to get him and then mold him and shape him into what she wants. A lot of women think that way. 
that men are clay, that you get them and then you can mold and shape them once you have them. Men do not want to mold and shape their women. They want women that they met. They want her. They want her again. Because that is the woman he chose to marry, not this new person. Not this new person that's letting herself go and barking off orders like a drill sergeant and being angry and irritated all the time and never wants to be intimate. I don't know any men that agreed to marry that woman. If they had met her, if they had met the wife in the dating phase, they would have never gotten married. So again, it's not the same. We as females cannot utilize all the terms that men use on us right back on them because a lot of times they just don't fit. Yeah, um, I'm sorry, ladies. The uh, the Uno reverse card don't always work for y'all the same way it works for men. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way I know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description, as well as my latest mixtape, Neo Trap Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any other merch, Spreadshot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all, deuces.